If you throw into question the metaphorical phrase, don't judge a book by its cover, then this video is about to prove you wrong. The Augusta National Golf Club hosted all past champions of the club for a candlelit dinner during the Masters Week in April this year. But one of the winners that was nowhere to be found was the Argentine pro golfer Angel Cabrera. And people wondered where he was and why he'd miss a tournament. But little did they know that the athlete was serving jail time. Cabrera is a two-time major champion and the first South American pro golfer to break a lot of golfing records. And you wonder how such a talented athlete ended up in jail last year. But behind his smile and philanthropic activities, there seems to be more than meets the eye because Cabrera claims he was prosecuted for a crime he never committed. Could this be some cheap blackmail or is he guilty as the jury claims? Stick around to find out the details. But before we dive in, here's what you have to know about Cabrera. Angel Cabrera is a famous pro golfer that was featured on the PGA and DP World Tour. The 53-year-old beat Jim Furyk and Tiger Woods by one shot to win the US Open at Oakmont in 2007. He triumphed two years later, winning the Masters playoff in a three-way sudden-death playoff. No Argentine or South American has won either, but Cabrera won both. The last time Angel played competitively was in 2020, finishing his career with 52 tournament wins. The South American also has four European Tour wins, including the BMW PGA Championship at Wentworth. He's also known as El Pato, which means the duck, because he walks with short steps and a clumsy swaying motion. So you can't help but wonder how the first South American pro golfer to win a green jacket after winning a three-way Masters playoff in 2009 ended up in prison stripes. You see, Cabrera's months on the run from the law ended in January 2021 when the Brazilian federal police arrested him in Rio de Janeiro on an Interpol red notice for crimes he allegedly committed in his home country, Argentina. El Pato was sent to a Brazilian prison until he was extradited to Argentina on June 7th last year. His ex-girlfriend, Cecilia Torres Mana, filed charges of assault against him in December 2016 and accused a pro golfer of hitting her in the face. After she filed the charges, Cabrera quickly hired Miguel Gavier as his attorney. However, the Argentine didn't seem to pay much attention to the case as he went about his career going on tours and adding more victories to his resume. And when the case became a bit messier, El Pato bolted to Brazil on December 31st from the United States, thinking he could run away from the law before the Supreme Court issued a warrant on January 9th. While speaking to CNN, Miguel Gavier said, his client was innocent of the charges and didn't understand why an Interpol red notice had to be issued when Cabrera was cooperating. He also claimed that Cabrera even went as far as obtaining a statement bearing the signature of the prosecution saying he didn't need to obtain a permit to travel. He concluded by expressing optimism that his client would be absolved of the charges based on the evidence. Apparently, it turned out that Angel Cabrera had little to no faith in Miguel, as he would later hire Carlos Herabedian shortly before he was extradited. While speaking to local Argentine reporters, Herabedian downplayed the allegation, saying the accusations came from long ago. Could Herabedian have been admitting Cabrera's culpability for the crime? Of course he's getting paid to defend his client, but what if the shreds of evidence were too glaring to deny the allegations? According to the lead prosecutor, Laura Battistelli, his situation is somewhat more complex than the media portrayed because he had another arrest warrant for various charges. His ex-wife, Silva Rivadero, and another ex-lover, Micaela Escudero, accused him of domestic abuse. He also faced other charges of theft, threats, and causing minor injuries said to have occurred between 2016 and 2020. But the one thing that stands out in the charges each of the women filed against him is domestic abuse. His ex-lover, Cecilia Torres Mana, claimed that aside from hitting her, he tried to run over her with his car. Torres claimed the relationship became manipulative and greatly disturbing as Cabrera began feeling insecure. So to deal with his insecurities, Angel would lock her up and threaten to use his connection to make her life miserable if she ever reported it to the authorities. She said Cabrera always acted like he owned her for the rest of her life, so he expected her to take the constant humiliation and attacks. It was at this point Torres knew she had to stop him at all costs. And what did she do? She called his bluff and eventually filed an assault charge. While Carlos Herabedian fought to prove his client's innocence, the jury didn't seem convinced because during the trial, he allegedly threatened Torres over the phone. So in July 2021, the jury found him guilty and sentenced him to two years behind bars for gender violence. Prison has done me good. 
and just when we thought we'd be seeing more of Cabrera on the Greens from 2023, he became a two-time assault convict on November 7, 2022, as he received an additional two years and four months of jail time for assaulting another of his ex-lovers, Micaela Escudero. According to local press, at the trial, Cabrera said, Many say prison is not good, but to me, that's not the case. Prison has done me good. Charles Epps vows to stand behind Cabrera. Charlie Epps, Cabrera's longtime mentor and instructor, however, said that he and Angel's supporters are encouraged that he would put up good behavior and have his sentence reduced to just one more year. Speaking on a call from last week's PGA Tour event in Houston, Epps said, He says prison has done him well, and I know that. First year, he was really embarrassed and didn't want to see anybody. But this past year, he's accepted a couple of visits from his friends. They say he's doing quite well and a guy that has learned from his actions. While blaming his addiction to alcohol for his wrong choices, Charles said he did a few dumb things that he shouldn't do and he's now aware that alcoholism is a wicked disease. Sadly, the 53-year-old is losing what is considered to be the peak years for golfers on PGA Tour champions. He's a strong dude, Charles said. It took him over seven years to get on tour, and he was 37 when he won his first major. So it's evident he's got a lot of stuff that most people don't have. It'd be one interesting story once he gets out. I'll back him as much as I can. Angel Cabrera has received two sentences for assaulting both of his exes. Do you think he gets an additional one for domestically abusing his ex-wife? Will Cabrera ever return to the Greens? If you like this video, you just have to watch the video on your screen right now. We'll see you in the next one.